In this video, we're going to use YOLO v9 to do a custom data set training for our drone data set. I'm going to start off with a YOLO v9 overview, go over the setup and how to verify your GPU settings, install our YOLO v9, install the requirements, download the weights, prepare the data set, train our YOLO v9, review the training results, and finally detect our drone. So by the end of this video, we will see how we can detect our drones in our custom data set, as you can see in this image right here. So I'll be reviewing the YOLO v9 repo that's out there. If you're new to YOLO in general, I have a YouTube video on YOLO v8. So I cover the details about the data sets folder structure, the YAML file content, the image annotation tools, as well as the image annotation labels file structure. So go ahead and check that out if you're new to YOLO in general. But here you can see it's a YOLO v9 repo here. So this is the main picture that's on the repo, which will show you the performance difference between YOLO v9 and YOLO v8 and some other models that they're comparing with. And you can see that their YOLO v9 is outperforming here in the orange up on top. But of course, to have the most accurate test, it's just best to test it on your own data set and compare on your own. But you can see here, these are some performance metrics that we can see based on the number of parameters as well as their model size. So we're going to go ahead and test it on our drones data set to see how it actually performs. So next up, we want to set up and verify our GPU in our Google Colab. So to do that, you go to Edit, Notebook Settings, select the T4 GPU, and then hit Save. Uh, and you could verify your GPU settings by running the NVIDIA SMI command. So for me, I already used up my GPU usage, so right now it's not showing, but if you still have usages, you should be able to see it show the GPU that you're using. Now to install YOLO v9, what we want to do is install the YOLO v9 inside of our Google Drive. So what I've done here is you want to mount your Google Drive and then you're going to CD into the folder that you want it to go into. So here we have our own folder called YOLO v9 custom data set training. And then after I chose the folder I want, I'm going to git clone it using the link for that repo. And then this will clone the repo inside that folder. Next up, you want to install your requirements. So it's pretty simple. You want to CD into your YOLO v9 folder where the requirements.txt file is located and then run the pip install r requirements.txt file. So since we're going to be training from our initial weights that they provide, what you want to do is go ahead and download the YOLO v9 weights. You could choose whichever you want. Right here, I'm choosing YOLO v9 c. So this was found on the GitHub on their website. So go ahead and choose the one that you want to use. Now it's time to prepare your data set. So go ahead and move your data set inside YOLO v9 and the name of your data set folder, which we've called drone data set. So inside of there, you want to place your data.yaml file. And then next, you want to get the file YOLO9-c.yaml file. That's inside the models detect folder and update the NC equals to the number of classes that you have. So in my case, I only have one class, which is a drone class. So I have NC equals to one. And then finally, you want to copy over the data hypes folder into your data set folder. Now we're ready to do some training. So go ahead and go to the path of your YOLO v9 folder, and then you want to run the Python train dual.py. And depending on if you have multiple GPUs or not, you could be using a different file. So go ahead and check out the repo for more information on that. But here you could set up some uh, parameters for the training for the workers, the batch, the image size, and the epoch. So here I'm using 10 epochs. And then you want to specify the data, the weights, the CFG, and the hype. So after you do all of that and you run it, you could see each of the epochs will show you the different stats. And then finally, we're going to go to the very end when it's done, and then you can start using the results from that. Now let's take a look at our YOLO v9 training results. So if you notice from the graphs here from our results, you can see that the MAP is increasing as we go more and more epochs with our training, and that's a good sign. So it means that the error is getting better and better, and it's getting better at detecting our objects inside our images. Okay, so here you can see an 
overview of some of the validation batch and the predictions. And you can see that all of the drones in the images have been detected pretty accurately. Now, if you want to actually use the trained model to detect new images, what you want to do is use the detect Python script that they have. But one thing to notice is that if you're running the repo and by default, you might see this error where it says attribute error list object has no attribute device. What you actually want to do is go to line 98 for the YOLO v9 detect.py file and then update this line here into predict comma underscore. Okay, so they have a little typo. So go ahead and update that and you should no longer see the error. But when you run the detect.py command, what you want to do here is you want to specify the image size, the weights, and the source, and the path of where you have the different weights and image that you want to test out. So here I'm going to test out image 0230. And you can see that here is the image that we are using. And you can see it detected the drone pretty nicely. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.